Hey everybody, I am Darth Tamanis, but there are those who call me Tim. <laughs> Anyways, my name is Tim, and I'm actually a pastor at a church in Tennessee. Um, also, besides all of this, I absolutely love playing video games. So, whenever I saw on Twitter that um, Church Mag, a, a website that I, I absolutely love and respect, was looking for people to to get involved with Minecraft and, and church text type stuff. I was like, it's like they're talking directly to me. Um, so today what I want to do is just give you a real quick introduction to who I am, um, tell you a little bit about me, my history of gaming, um, and then just kind of talk about gaming and Christianity in general. Everything's going to be very general today. Nothing's going to be too specific. It's just an opportunity for you guys to get to know me and my amazing personality um, and just a little bit about my uh, history and ministry, my history in gaming, um, and hopefully how those two uh, at times have uh, coincided. Also, just kind of show off a little bit of, of where I am on our Minecraft server. You can see some builds over my shoulders over there. You could see more if I had a better computer and my render distance would be a little farther. Um, right behind there is a house as well, right over my shoulder. There's a wonderful castle. And Spawn Village is right over there. Or if I karate chop the air, right over there. All right. So let me just tell you a little bit about uh, me and gaming. I really grew up gaming. Um, I grew up, uh, you know, in a, a good Christian household. My dad would pay me to memorize scripture, <laughs> and so I, I, you know, I've got John fifteen five memorized because my dad would pay me money to memorize it, and I would take full advantage of his generosity. Um, and I would constantly say, well, I know John 15, 5, give me some money, that type of stuff. Um, so I grew up gaming, but it was very, very, very rigid. It was always, um, you know, I had set time limits. I, you know, I'd have to make sure my homework was done or I'd do chores and, and things like that. And also, whenever it came to, like, the uh, gaming systems, I was always behind like all of my friends who were avid gamers. Like we wouldn't get if a new system came out, we wouldn't run out and get it. It'd usually be a year or so later. I know, poor me. Um, so I I got to uh, play a whole lot as a young kid. I got to to you know really just grow up playing video games. Some of my greatest um, game experiences that I had growing up were playing games like Zelda. Um, and Final Fantasy, and of course, the greatest game ever, GoldenEye. And yeah, it's probably not the greatest game ever, but I tell you what, I've probably played GoldenEye more um, than just about any game I've ever played in my entire life, and that's probably a huge exaggeration. Whenever I went off to college, I took my uh, console with me. My parents didn't want me to. They said, you're going to college, leave your console. And I said, no, I'm going to college, I want my console. So GoldenEye came with me. Um, GoldenEye actually was, was the, a game that uh, really was, uh, I don't know, is it such a community-centered game. If, if you played GoldenEye with other people, um, it was just some of the most fun I had in college was playing with some of my uh, frat brothers, um, playing Goldeneye in the frat house, and and we would have tournaments and and all that you know fun stuff, just running around killing each other. Um, I was one of the better players um, too, probably because I played it a lot um, whenever it first came out. Um, so played a whole lot of Goldeneye, um, and then something happened. Um, I got saved. And it, I, you know, I know I said I was raised in church, but I never really, uh, never really considered myself a Christian until, uh, you know, my uh, conversion experience, whenever I truly decided I would follow Jesus and trust in him for my salvation. Um, I was being mentored by an older individual, and I just didn't see gaming as something that I, as a Christian, a young Christian boy, should be doing and I wasn't a young Christian boy I was you know, 19 20 years old at the time and so I, I just kind of stopped playing video games for a while I actually was focusing solely on ministry I was focusing solely on um, finding ways to to you know be a, a, a 
pastor in training and, and being mentored and sharing the gospel. I just didn't see how video games fit in there. Um, I spent a summer as a missionary in Mexico. Um, it's probably one of the best summers of my entire life. Um, and it really came back from that with a, a mindset of I'm going to be a missionary, missionary to the people in the United States of America. Um, so I, I came back with that intensity and that mindset. Two weeks later, I was sitting on a couch with uh, my roommate at that time, and he put a controller in my hand, PlayStation 2 controller, I believe. Put a game in there, and that game was Grand Theft Auto 3. And I fought, and I fought, and I fought, and I said, no, I shouldn't play this, I shouldn't play this, I shouldn't play this. Put the controller in my hand. It's like, well, I can play this. Next thing I know, I'm running from the cops. And like, I've, I've got, like, a, a, just all these weapons. I'm, like, shooting everybody. I'm blowing everything up. And I was hooked, absolutely hooked. And so college, really, from that point forward, um, became video game focus for me. I loved gaming. Um, and I gamed all the time. And, and you know, I'm not, uh, not ashamed to admit it, but, like, one of my favorite game series is Grand Theft Auto. Now, I haven't played the most recent one. Um, I really... Uh, you know, whether or not Grand Theft Auto is a good game or not, it's not the discussion I want to get into. It's a good game, but more, the moral issues of it, it's not something I really want to talk about. But um, anyways, so, uh, you know, got into gaming a whole lot. Um, one of my uh, friends at work invited me over after work one night, and we sat down, um, and he put a con a controller in my hand. It was an Xbox controller, and the game that we played was Halo. Oh man, Halo is amazing. I it, it was like playing Goldeneye again, um, and I just absolutely loved the game Halo. So I at the time um, had some spare money setting aside. So I went out the next day and bought an Xbox and I bought Halo. And it was about the time Halo Two was coming out as well. And if you know anything about Halo 2, when it first came out on the consoles, it was one of the first times that Xbox Live um, and Halo um, were as integrated as, as they were. It was a huge online community where you could get on, you could play with people from all over the place. Um, I ended up getting a clan, um, joining a clan, a clan of... Um, gamers on the Red vs. Blue community. If you know anything about Red vs. Blue, they um, use video games to do animation, things like that. So I, I was playing with all my Red vs. Blue friends in um, a Halo 2 clan, and it was just amazing. Like I could play with a guy from England. Um, it's one of the one of the my favorite people that I I play with. Um, he was in England. I was in Tennessee. And it's like, why were he and I friends? Well, we were friends because we played Halo together. Just neat. Um, now, at the same time, like these 20 people that I were playing with, like as, as the new games came out, Halo 3 came out, there was always that community there that, that we would play with. And they all knew who I was. They all knew, you know, I was wanting to become a pastor when I grew up and and all those types of things, and I was just able to, to really talk and communicate um, with people um, through video games. I met my wife during uh, the kind of later end of this, um, and I got married, and of course, whenever I was young and dating, we didn't play video games too much, but our first few years of marriage, um, I played a quite a, a pretty decent amount, um, but then once we had kids, I kind of gave gaming a, a a pause. I kind of stopped to focus on being a dad. Um, I still had my Xbox and I would play every now and then, but I wouldn't really game unless I knew um, like I knew someone that, that I was playing with. Um, and at that time I was a youth pastor. Um, and so I would play a lot with my youth. Um, that way I'd just spend time with them, talk with them, and and my wife was almost always okay with me playing and, and interacting with some of the, the um, some of my youth. So I used gaming as a, a you know opportunity to just build relationships with them, um, and and just and it's pretty much all I did when I gamed was playing with uh, youth from uh, my youth ministry. Um, but as my son 
um, got older, my responsibilities of being a, a dad and finishing school and working, gaming really took a back seat. Um, there was one night during the summer that uh, I was doing a youth event, and if you know anything about youth ministry in the summer, you can have nights when everybody's there, and you can have nights when only one person is there. Well, a night happened that it was only one person. Um, so I asked this kid, uh, hey man, it's just you and me, what do you want to do? He said, I have my Xbox, let's play a game. So he pulled out his Xbox, and we sat down, and he and I played Minecraft. It was the first time I ever played Minecraft. He introduced me to it. Um, and I absolutely loved it. I went home that night and I bought Minecraft on the Xbox 360 and I played it. Next thing I know, I'm looking on YouTube for how to do some things, like how do you do this in Minecraft, and I realized there's this community uh, around Minecraft as well of, of people who make um, videos and kind of share their builds. Um, and so I, I really got into that, that community um, and I started to, to make um, videos as well. If, if I am a, a YouTuber, I'm not as active as I, I used to be, um, but I would use Minecraft um, to, uh, you know, kind of uh, be on a server with other people, interact with them. They knew I was a pastor, and um, I just would build relationships with them and, and game with them and have fun and just kind of be myself. So I really used it to um, I don't even want to say promote that I was a pastor, or I was a Christian, or, or promote the gospel, or anything noble like that. But I did just use um, gaming just to let people know who I was, let them know a little bit about my personality. Um, it was a great time. Uh, I got to build a lot of, of good relationships with people that I, I still have. Um, and I even got to use Minecraft um, to make a few sermon illustrations and, and use it kind of as an animation studio. Um, so whenever I was preaching, I, I used it to, uh, you know, like I tell a parable and then I kind of act the parable out through Minecraft and and it, it worked really well um, in my context of ministry because I have a very mixed age group, um, very mixed lifestyles in my church. We've got um, we're a smaller church, so our child care. Um, is you know for mostly just the the younger children in the area, um, so I I try my best to um, plan my sermons out with a a broad audience in mind, and so I knew using um, Minecraft and videos from time to time um, as sermon illustrations and things like that, like actual illustrations. I would make videos in Minecraft. I knew it would be helpful, and it really would connect. Uh, the times that I did it, really connect with younger people, really connect with the older people, too, because they could see with their own eyes, like the story of Jesus, the story that Jesus told, went really well. Um, so whenever I saw an opportunity to kind of mix my my own personality, my own interest of being a pastor, I wake up in the morning, and what do I want to do? I don't... I don't always like, oh, want to play Minecraft today. No, I want to share the Word of God. Like, I want to be around other believers and encourage them. But I also want to build relationships with people who are lost. And I do that a lot through um, my personality of uh, and interest in playing video games. Um, so that's kind of my history of gaming. Um, and, you know, like, there's always this question that comes up about should Christians play video games, and is it appropriate, um, you know, use of time? I do believe, with, without a shadow of a doubt, um, that I don't think it's wrong for Christians to play video games, um, but I do think, um, just like everything else, it starts becoming problematic, and if it's all you do, and it's just the entire focus of your time in your life is just playing video games or you're neglecting your family or your responsibilities or your work like that it should become problematic then but i do believe you know i play minecraft and video games a lot kind of as not only just to build relationships but as an escape um you know as a pastor i i sometimes have to deal with things that um can be a little traumatic um, sometimes I can have a, you know, as an introvert, just being around other people, it can wear me out. Um, so I just kind of play video games as a way to recharge my batteries. Um, I also read a lot as well, so it's, you know, it's not like it's my only source of escape. Um, and Minecraft seems to be the place I, I really um, tend to go whenever I, I'm looking for an escape. 
Uh, there's someone else on the server going AFK right now, so um, I'm not going to be able to sleep. Um, but I, I really want to find ways to use gaming um, as a, a ministry, and it's something that's just kind of um, been put on my heart. I would say it's one of the, you ever have like a, a question or idea that just never escapes you, um, and it's like, how can I use and be a part of using gaming um, in video games to share the gospel or evangelize um, with people who um, maybe aren't Christians. And, and I think one of the biggest ways we can do that is through just building relationships and being a um, Christian presence. That's about as far as I've thought through it. Um, I, I don't have answers now, but I'm always up for finding ways to, to use um, gaming to you know, strengthen relationships not only with other believers um, and kind of what we're doing here on Church Mag, showing ways that we can use gaming um, and technology um, to strengthen churches and community and churches, um, but also ways to, to share and, and reach out to people who don't know Jesus Christ. Um, that's kind of, you know, the broader picture. But anyways, I think that's a pretty good introduction to who I am, how I um, kind of use gaming, um, how I got into gaming, and, and how gaming has never really escaped me, even though I'm, I'm older. Um, I'm what, 30, I'll be 35 this year. I'm married. I have two kids and one on the way. Um, in fact, I, I play video games with my five-year-old. Um, he and I play together. We have a world in Minecraft that we work together, and I kind of record some of our adventures and share them on YouTube. Um, we've used gaming as as a, uh, if you know, like, you know, I studied psychology in college, so if you know anything about positive reinforcement, gaming is a very powerful um, reinforcer for my son. He loves gaming, so we can use gaming if he's being good to 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 give him a uh, reward of playing games, or if he's not, it's something that we can take away, um, and it really connects and really gets through. Um, and it's also just a time for me and him to to you know play together, and and some of the best conversations and the most fun we have is usually around a console, um, playing video games. Oh look, spider! Da! Oh no, you ruined my crops! I'm going to kill that guy. Let's see. Yeah, I am. Boom. Take that. Mm -mm. So anyways, we'll dive more into uh, oh those aspects of my life. But anyways, just wanted to say thank you to the other guys at Church Mag. Uh, look forward to do more videos like this. If there's any topics you want me specifically to address, I'm wanting to, to kind of share how you, if you want to, can learn how to, to make content yourself if you're wanting ways um, to, to make videos in, in your church context, in a church setting. Um, also, I love building, so I kind of want to do a design series and, and how to do um, buildings that look interesting and kind of outside of a box shape, um, those types of things. So anyways, again, my name is Tim. Uh, my gamer name is Darth Tamanis. Um, so you can find me um, through Church Mag as it's through, or you know, on Twitter as Tim Baker Three, or um, on Twitter as well as Darth Tamanis. Um, but anyways, hope you guys are having a good day. Thanks for allowing me to share, and I'll talk to you all later.